Welcome to the stage of making the sales. Uh, this should be the last major stage for the build. Afterwards, there are only minor details uh, once the sales are added. So what I'm going to do is not use the sale patterns that came with the cloth from the kit. The reason being is that all the markings have been printed on the sale material on the cloth in black ink including all the stitching markings and the cloth is also kind of yellowish. So what I've decided to do is take some uh, cloths, uh, this is curtain uh, cloth and it's very thin but also very white and uh, I think that will uh, give a better impression than the original. As well, this will be and this will enable me to uh, create the stitchings by hand uh, instead of having the black marks, which are only printed on one side. Uh, this way, the stitchings will be on the two sides. So uh, the first step that I've gone ahead and done is using the originals as a pattern. I've created from paper um, a pattern of the three sails. The two front sails, the jib and the flying jig, I've just kept them from uh, paper and I've drawn on all the reinforcement pieces as well as the marks where the stitching will have to go. In the main sail, I've gone ahead and grabbed that piece of paper and glued it onto a piece of cardboard. This has enabled me to try out the placement of the sails uh, the mainsail being uh, thick, I've been able to place it between the mast and the boom uh, to test out if the dimensions are correct. And I've uh, discovered that it is about half a centimeter too short. So I have decided to widen it uh, half a centimeter and that way keep it in line with, uh, with my boom and my mast. The jib as well is a little bit too wide. It's about uh, one centimeter uh, too wide. So what I've gone ahead and done is to uh, cut down on the pattern and took off uh, the end. So this way it will fit and not hit against uh, the mast. The flying jib on the other hand was uh, perfect and it fits without any trouble. So uh, with all these changes I'll go ahead and uh, explain how I've uh, gone ahead and do uh, and done the sales. Okay so the first stage is to grab a piece of cloth and iron it well. Um, a piece more or less uh, that will fit the pattern for the sail, in this case the jib, and once making sure that it fits, making sure it's also ironed and flat. Once that's done, what I've gone ahead and done as it's suggested in instructions is to grab some white glue, some uh, 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 white glue for wood, and mix it uh, in with 50% water and uh, mixed it uh, and combined it all pretty well. So once I've done that, what I'll do is grab the piece of cloth and uh, drench it into the mix so that it's all pretty well covered. Just going like this should cover the whole piece pretty well. Just a matter of letting it drench in the glue. And once that is done, what I will do now is to hang it up to dry. If there are any pieces or blobs of glue, what I will do is to just take them off, scrape them off like that, and they will come off. This is a pretty messy step, but once it is done, it's just a matter of letting it uh, dry, hanging, 
and uh, when that's done, I'll come back. Okay, the cloth is now dry, with all the glue well set, and what I've gone ahead and done is using the template and the pencil, I've drawn out the outline, as well as marked where the middle strip will go, right from here to here, and this is the result. So now that I have this, while it was drying, I went ahead and took another strip, uh, another piece that I had uh, covered in, uh, in glue before, and I cut out three strips of two millimeters in width. Uh, these strips are the reinforcements that go around the sail as well as through the middle. So to do that now, I have to add them to the uh, sail. To do this, what I'm going to do is to use the same uh, watered down glue as I did before and place them on top, one by one, letting them dry in between. Okay, so I have one of the strips on a piece of wax paper so it doesn't get stuck and all I do is to dip a brush into the mix of glue and water and paint down the strip. Just a slight coat is enough and making sure that the whole strip is covered. So, once I do that, I take the strip and carefully draining off the excess glue, I place it onto the mark that I have on the sail and trying to make sure that it stays straight. Like that. If uh, some part of it doesn't match, I just move it around a little bit with an X-Acto knife and make sure that it goes into its appropriate position. Doing this down the whole line. I also make sure that it is all glued down and push it down with a knife to make sure it's all parallel. So now I let it dry and I'll do the same with the other two. This last one has to be a bit bent, uh, but that should not be a problem but better to let each strip uh, dry for about an hour before putting the next one on and I'll be back when I put the other three. Okay, here's the piece uh, done. I've added the four reinforcements uh, with the water and glue mix and they're all nice and stuck. What I've gone ahead and done is ironed it um, same as I did the first time, but in this case, to avoid that the cloth distorts with the ironing, I just uh, leave it on different spots, making sure I cover all of them little by little without uh, moving the iron. And this way it flattens out a little bit and it also helps to finish sticking the reinforcements to the rest of the cloth. So now that I've done that, uh, the last... Uh, part to do is to uh, cover it all in a mixture of glue and water again. So to do this, um, avoiding that these move, they're pretty stuck, but uh, with water they might move again. Uh, so what I will do is hang it up and uh, once it's hung with the same uh, paintbrush that I used to 
uh, stick these, I'll lightly cover it all up, uh, making sure not to press too much uh, on the parts where the reinforcements are, and let it uh, dry up. Once that's over, that means that the cloth will be evenly covered and also help to stick the reinforcements a little bit more. So when that's done, I will iron it again one last time, again without moving the iron over it, just placing it, and I will cut it out. To cut it out, I will just uh, place it on the piece of cardboard and using a straight ruler, metal ruler, and a scalpel, I will just place it against the edges, uh, following the line, making sure it's as straight as possible, and I will go ahead and just scrape along. It's pretty thin cloth, and with two layers of glue, it's uh, pretty well bonded, so that way it won't tear the cloth when I cut through it. And uh, once that is done, then I will have a separate uh, sail. When that's done, I'll come back. Okay, the three sails are now done and finished. I cut it out, and this is the result with the reinforcements on one side, nothing on the other, but with the clear cloth, uh, it can be seen right through. Since I left them to dry hanging, the glue has spread uh, well through the cloth, and hasn't left any marks on one side or another side, so it's uh, clean. So now that I have the three of them made up, um, I've also gone ahead and made a couple of jigs. The idea behind these jigs is to be able to place the sail on top, and I've marked where the stitching should crisscross the, the sail. So by putting them on top, I'll be able to draw a line in pencil very lightly, and then with a sewing machine, I'll be able to stitch all the marks. And that should have all the sails uh, ready to be installed. So the next uh, step is to uh, use uh, the sewing machine and to create these uh, marks. When I'm done, I'll show the result. Okay, uh, I'm doing the stitching on the sails now, and I've made a little bit of change in plans. Originally, I was going to do this with a sewing machine, but uh, in the end, I decided to do it all by hand. Uh, because I could not get them to go completely straight, especially on the biggest sail, and I wanted them to to try and uh, keep the same pattern as straight as possible. So what I'm doing, um, although it's taking a long time, is to uh, add uh, two pieces of tape, one on each side. These uh, are masking tape, uh, and I can reuse them over and over for about 10 to 15 times. So um, I can keep on going pretty fast. What I've done is to mark uh, four millimeters apart uh, lines on each one of the sides. So that way I can see where to uh, sew. Uh, to sew, I'm using uh, a white uh, thin thread and uh, to hold each one of the corners, I'm dabbing a little bit of uh, super glue at the edges to keep it tight. I'm starting by the side which is going to be tied up to the mast uh, and the uh, rigging, so that way the super glue marks do not show up that much. And all I'm doing is just carefully following the line as close as possible 
starting in the double edge and uh, next to the tape and then just going down the line pressing onto the edge and that way I can keep the thread tight and in its place. Once I do the first couple of them, I tighten it, make sure it's as tight as possible, and then with a little bit of super glue, I hold it in place, making sure not to put too much glue since it leaves a mark but just tightening it and dabbing a little bit and then I keep on going down the line in a zigzag manner all the way to the end Okay, so once I get to the end of the first side, I again grab a dab of super glue and touch it against the end to keep it tight. And now I go ahead and on the reverse side, I try to match it right where I finished the previous stitch and trying to keep it in line and uh, this way I have the two stitches on each one of the sides keeping a straight line and I keep on going until I get back to the beginning. Now that I reach the beginning again, I try to match the last stitch with the thread that was dangling from the beginning, pull it out, and on this side I put a little bit more super glue to hold it down tightly. especially on the little bit that is left over. I pull it tight and then with a pair of nail clippers I cut it as close as possible not to leave any mark and then on the other side I just go ahead and thread it through the loop from before and pull it tight and again with a little bit of super glue I glue the join to make sure that it doesn't come off and Again with the nail clippers, pulling it up to make sure that I don't leave any excess, I cut it off. Push it down and then the masking tape, I just pull it apart and that enables me to use it for the next line. Um, what I've previously done using the templates at each end of where the line should go I've uh, 
marked it with a pencil very lightly and that enables me to uh, place the tape from one end to the other and uh, do the whole design. So uh, this is the progress on this sale and still have to do the top part and the bottom part and the other two sales are done so uh, when I'm done I'll show you the results. Okay, here is the result. All three sales are finished. I've done the stitching uh, using the same method that I've explained uh, for all of them. And uh, what I've added as well now is all the ropes to hang them onto the uh, sails. Um, I'll start by the main sail um, and uh, using these two ends I've taken a measurement of where it should match the bottom of the mast and the uh, boom and um, that way I can hold it tight there together with the top one and uh, stitch up and down the boom um, to uh, put it in place. Then I'll work my way with the flying jib and finally the jib all the way in front and uh, this should hold them all in place. I've made the ropes uh, slightly longer than needed so hopefully I'll have enough to uh, tighten them to the blocks and the cleats later on. So I'll go ahead in those steps and uh, simply sewing them onto the mast and the rigging that they have to go onto and that should take care of this process. Okay, uh, this is the way that I'm sewing on the sails uh, to the ship. What I first done is to get a piece of uh, tan string from the string provided in the kit and uh, cut a length which is one and a half times the length of the sail that I want to um, uh, sew on. Um, to start, uh, one end I've uh, put it through a pretty thick nail, so th uh, uh, there's no problem. Um, and the other end I made a knot, and with some super glue I made it hard so it will not go through the material of the sail. So, once I've done that, I've gone ahead and started part of it already. And uh, the interval that I'm using is the marks on the sail, which I had done with the other uh, white thread. In the middle, I started through. In this case, right here. And I do this right at the edge of the reinforcement so it's easier to be able to go through the sail. I pull it through and pull it the other side. I make sure that the thread is tight and flat and then I go back and using the same hole that I had before I put the needle through it again and pull it the other side. I make sure not to pull too much, not to break the rest of the threads and I pull it as tight as possible. In this case making sure that the sail is butted up against the black thread and the loop that I've created is tight as well. Once I've done that, I secure it with a little bit of super glue, pulling on the thread on the other side and right there where it goes through the sail, I add a couple of drops of super glue to keep it tight.
Once I do that, I turn the ship around a little bit and making sure the camera still sees. So now that I've rearranged the angle of the camera, I have it on the other side and I repeat the process and put the thread through the sail. And as before, make sure that it is tight and pushing it through the same hole again. And now that it's tight, I pull it tight, make sure that the thread is in the middle. And again, with some super glue, I touch it right on that hole. And that way I make sure that this thread doesn't go anywhere. As I'm going down, I'm using some clips to hold the sail into place. And I've done that to put all the sails on the ship. The main sail uh, against the, the main rod, I've done the same, but only uh, tying it up on each one of the eye bolts that were on there. So this way I will keep on going down to the bottom and then I'll secure the uh, threads that, to the blocks of the... Um, uh, on the deck and uh, main mast. So that should take care of the uh, stitching of the sails onto the ship. Okay, this is the end result. The sails are all uh, on the ship. I've uh, put all of them, the two front ones and the main one. And this is the end of this uh, stage. Uh, the ship is basically done and uh, only needs a couple more details and a final reveal. So that'll be coming in the next video. Hope you have enjoyed the build until now and I'll see you soon.